so explain to us uh, the innovation space down here. We'll talk about the session you had today, but explain to me the idea behind it, because I know that you're involved in that. We are. We're very proud to be part of um, the Young Innovators competition this year. Um, Cradisty, this is the first year we've been involved and uh, our technology, our platform is being used by the ITU and Telecom World to effectively power the whole innovation process online. So we've enabled all the young innovators, around about 8,000 of them worldwide, to come together around four key challenges and the 10 winners of those challenges are now here in Doha joining us at the innovation space. And the challenges are taking place, as you say, over the space of the week. We'll talk about today and what happened there. But uh, going back to you being a mentor, because I was reading a little bit about you and you mentioned the word paying it forward. Yeah, I think when you, when you sort of start up any business, there's a lot of people that help you get to where you get to. You don't do it alone. And that's the whole thing about innovation. You hear the myth about innovators being lone pioneers, but very rarely are innovators the only people behind a business. There's all kinds of different people out there supporting you, helping you, and it's certainly been the case in my career. So I think part of coming here today and meeting with the young innovators is sort of repaying some of that debt to the people that have helped me throughout my career. And today's session, of course, was technology-based solutions to tackle real-world challenges. How did that go? Because it looked very interesting. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a great session. We were really looking to the innovators to help us define what the challenges are going to be for the next year. So the next year's intake, if you like, of young innovators. And really the focus of the, of the whole session was really about sort of understanding the importance of defining the problem before jumping into the solution. There's always a temptation to actually jump straight into finding a solution. And what we wanted them to do was to really sort of wind it back. Look at the problems that are facing the world today. Look at the problems that really do need solutions. And then from that point, start to actually look at how information communication technology can actually help to solve some of those problems. So one hand, it was about giving some insight to ITU to help them in the next year's program. But a big part of it was really about helping the innovators really focus in at the outset on defining the problem that they get to solve. And it seemed a very involved session. It seemed that everyone was taking part. What was the feeling you had from it? I think it was great. I mean, it was. There was a lot of interaction. There was a lot of people that came to the session um, midway through or during the session, which is great. So we, we seem to sort of build a bit of a following and a bit of a momentum, which is always nice with these events. And I think, you know, people came up to me after the session saying, you know, they found it really useful. It really helped them, I suppose, focus on the importance of actually starting out um, defining what it is you're actually doing and actually focusing in on that and actually getting that criteria right before necessarily just jumping straight into actually the ideas bit, which is always the sort of temptation. So, you know, I think it went well. The feedback's been positive and hopefully the ITU have got some great stuff to take forward into next year. Nick, thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you.